everybody welcome back to a north texas weather center forecast and today what we're going over is that severe weather potential for this afternoon and evening across a large portion of texas i'm gonna give you the latest breakdown in terms of what threats to expect the timing as well and the intensity of the storms and as well as when you can expect them so let's get right into it so as of right now there is a lot larger of a slight risk out to our west and western texas that would include basically amarillo midland and as well as lubbock those are the main three cities included in this threat it does also include eastern new mexico again you can see it right here that's off to our west there's also a marginal threat of severe weather across portions of central texas it actually goes as far south as austin and san antonio and it goes off into areas like waco it also includes part of the dfw metroplex and there's actually going to be a potential for a few isolated discrete supercells later this evening more on that in just a second here's a look at the hail outlook for tonight most of us over in central texas will only have a threat for damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour on the other hand there is a enhanced risk for large hail meaning that there could be a potential for baseball the tennis ball sized hail out of a storm or two back out in the far western texas areas and as well as into eastern new mexico and you can see there's also a green area there that does also represent again potentially for some at least golf ball sized tail or less and those other areas that are not included in that hatch region here's a look at the tornado threat there actually is a low-end tornado threat tonight for those in far western texas that again does include midland as well as lubbock and amarillo so just keep that in mind for those that are on those areas all right let's get into the future radar i'm starting out in new mexico and then we'll go back out to the east and closer to north texas in a moment because you see some showers and storms will fire up right around five to six o'clock mountain time and eventually by about seven to eight o'clock they'll move into the panhandle of texas as you can look at the western portion of texas right around seven to eight o'clock again some showers and storms will start to roll into the western panhandle about nine ten o'clock those storms will start to move through amarillo eventually by about 11 to 12 o'clock those storms will start to move into areas like western oklahoma i'm not anticipating severe weather for oklahoma but definitely a potential for maybe a strong storm or two producing maybe some gusty winds and maybe very small hail eventually by three to four in the morning most of that activity will fizzle out and eventually going to saturday morning we should for the most part dry out taking a look at the north texas radar for later this afternoon again there's a little area of circulation back out to the west it's a little low pressure system this is actually going to bring us a little bit of rain this afternoon it brought us a lot of rain earlier this morning for those in western texas as well central texas this will eventually move toward area three four five six o'clock this afternoon some isolated showers and storms may fire up with this and if any do develop maybe some large hail and damaging winds may be a possibility you see by six seven o'clock a couple of cells may develop again this could be a very big if it's really going to depend on many factors, but it's going to be a big question mark. It's basically about a 40 to 50 percent chance we see this actually happen. Eventually, by seven, eight o'clock, those storms will start to roll down to the south, and eventually we will start to see those taper off during the overnight hours. And event going to Saturday, we'll start to see maybe another, another little low end storm chance. You can see going into the Saturday outlook, there is actually a marginal threat for severe weather across Oklahoma and as well as Kansas. I'll have more details on that in our next forecast. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting, All Dense Repair, and Patriot Safe Rooms.